Um, I've got uh, now almost uh, 35 years experience uh, in both supply chain process consultation, uh, technology, uh, and, and management experience. Uh, so, uh, and I've been considered a, a somewhat of a visionary uh, in the industry. So, um, for me, um, my best leverage is uh, as a you know, uh, an educator uh, through uh, speaking engagements, uh, workshop, and on-site educational environments. Uh, and, uh, you know, writing research and white papers for various companies uh, on the topics that are most relevant to supply chain leaders today. Well, I uh, have over the years introduced uh, concepts uh, that have led to uh, uh, the evolution of supply chain to a more network and systems concept uh, by applying... Uh, both the principles of uh, systems dynamics as well as the principles of Lean, Six Sigma, uh, and SCORE uh, into technology frameworks to provide decision support uh, to supply chain people. Uh, enterprise systems really don't solve problems per se. Uh, it's, you know, if... if if everything ran right, uh, the ERP system would never have an exception. Uh, it's people that resolve those exceptions. And so I've traditionally been a leader in uh, the development of decision support processes and tools to help people solve and resolve exceptions, uh, you know, kind of put out the match before, put out the fire before it burns down the forest type of tools. Probably the other, you know, capability that I've always brung to the table uh, was the, the capability not to see what is, but to see what can be. Um, I call it visioneering, uh, the, the fact that we have to take a look to the future. And um, we, in fact, in, in speaking to this conference this past week, I, I told them we, we can't focus on what our technology is changing today, we have to focus on how our technology will change the future. Um, because, uh, you know, Mike Hammer years ago said, don't automate, obliterate. And there's a lot of truth to that. Uh, people have to not look at how technology uh, impacts what they're doing today, but they have to look at how it's going to change the way they do things tomorrow. And that's where the real value of change comes into play. Logistics.